In this video, we will talk about how to solve a simple ventilation network. There are three procedures to solve a simple ventilation network. Uh, the first procedure is to redraw the circuit. For example, if we have a ventilation network looks like this, or if drawn in a way that it's on a 2D paper, but it's drawn in a way that represents a 3D visual effect. What we want to do is to redraw it so the relationship between airways are easy to identify. For example, on the right, we can see airway 2 and 3, they are in parallel. And airway 5 and 7, they are in series. And together, they are in parallel with airway 6. So we want to redraw the ventilation network so it's easier to see the relationship between each airway. The second step is to work forward to calculate the equivalent resistance. Eventually, we want to reduce this ventilation network to one single airway with uh, equivalent resistance and quantity flowing in that airway. The last step is we want to work backward so we can solve the airflow rate in each individual airways. Let's look at an example. In this example, the total flow rate to this mine is 50 cubic meter per second. So 50 cubic meter per second of air is exhausting from the mine. And the arrows here indicate the flow direction. And there are 10 airways. The resistance for these airways are all given on the table shown on the right. The question asks us to find the mine total pressure drop. So the total pressure drop, as we know, is pressure drop equals to R Q squared. Q is 50, but R is the mine's total resistance we need to calculate. So we can reduce this mine ventilation network to one single equivalent resistance. Let's see how we do it. The first step is to redraw the airway, but uh, the current layout of the airway is clear enough, so I don't need to redraw it in this example. So, as we can see, airway 4, 5, and 6, they are in series, and airway 7, 8, and 9, they are in series as well. We can reduce 4, 5, 7, to airway A, and we can reduce airway 7, 8, and 9 to airway B. So using the equation, we can calculate the equivalent resistance of uh, airway A, RA equals to R4 plus R5 plus R6 equals to 0 0.08 plus 0 0.15 plus 0.16 equals to 0.39 Newton second square meter to the eighth. Similarly, the resistance of B equals to R7 plus R8 plus R9 equals to 0.1 plus 0.17 plus 0.1 5 equals to 0.42 Newton second square meter to the eighth. The next step we can see that airway A and airway 3 they are in parallel. So we can reduce these two airway to one single airway of C. So by using the equation we can calculate the resistance of airway C equals to this square 1 divided by 1 divided by square root of RA plus 1 divided by square root of R3 equals to 1 divided by 1 divided by square root of RA we just calculate it, 0.39 plus 1 divided by square root of 0.1, that's R3. If you do the calculator, if you do the calculation, it is 0 0.044.
Now moving forward, we can see airway 2 and airway C, they are in series. So we can reduce them to airway D. And the resistance of airway D is RD equals to R2 plus RC equals to 0.15 plus 0.044 equals to 0.194. Keep moving. Now we have airway D and airway B. They are in parallel. We can reduce them to airway E. And by using the equivalent resistance calculation method for airways in parallel, RE equals to square 1 divided by 1 divided by square root of RD plus 1 divided by square root of RB equals to square 1 divided by 1 divided by square root of RD we just calculated 0 0.194 plus 1 divided by 0.42 equals to 0 0.069 The next step we can see airway 1, E and 10, they are in series. So we can reduce these three airways into a final airway F. So R F equals to R1 plus R E plus R10 equals to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.069. We have calculated this plus 0.04. This is R10 is given, R1 is given as well, equals to 0.159. Okay, now we have reduced the entire mine ventilation network to a single airway with equivalent resistance of 0.159 and Total quantity is uh, 50. Therefore, the total pressure drop in this mine is P equals to RQ square equals to 0.159 by 50 square equals to 397.5. This is a forward step. Next, we will use the backwards step to solve the quantity in each airway. So now the question asks, find the quantity of air through each airway in the previous problem. Now we work backward through the problem. We have this one single equivalent resistance. It came from three airway, airway one, E, and 10. So the flow to this single airway is 50 and airway 1, E and 10, they are in series. Therefore, the flow rate in each airway, they're all 50. So Q1 equals to QE equals to Q10 equals to 50 cubic meter per second. Keep moving backward, we have um, airway E it is equivalent from airway D and uh, airway B. So the total airflow quantity to airway D and B, the sum is 50. Now we need to use the quantity divider rule QB equals to QE square root RE divided by RB equals to 50 by RE is 0.069 divided by RB is 0.42 equals to 20.27 cubic meter per second. QD can be calculated the same way equals to QE square root RE divided by RB. If you do the calculation, it came out to be 29.73 cubic meter per second.
or you can use Kirtle's first law. Kirtle's first law. If we look at this node, Q1, the flow go into the node minus QD minus QB equals to zero because QD and QB they are leaving the node. Therefore, Q150 minus QD minus QB 20.27 equals to zero. We solve QD and we can achieve the same result. Moving backward one more time, airway D came from airway 2 and airway C. So, because airway 2 and airway C, they are in series, therefore, the airflow in them are the same as airway D. So, Q2 equals to QC equals to QD equals to 29.37 centimeters per second. Moving backward one more time, we can see Airway C came from airway A and airway 3. They are in parallel. Therefore, the air quantity in them can be calculated by the quantity divider rule. QA equals to QC. QC is here. That's the total airflow quantity into airway A and airway 3. So QA equals to QC by square root of RC divided by RA equals to 29.73 by square root of 0 0.044 divided by 0 0.39 equals to 9.99 meter per second. So by using Kirchhoff's first law, Q3 equals to Q2 minus QA equals to 29.73 minus 9.99 equals to 19.74 cubic meter per second. Now move backward one more step, airway A came from airway 4, 5, 6 in series. Airway B came from airway 7, 8, and 9 in series. Because they are in series, the flow quantity are the same as the equivalent airway. So, Q4 equals to Q5 equals to Q6 because they are in series equals to QA equals to 9.99 centimeter per second. Similarly, Q7 equals to Q8 equals to Q9 equals to QD equals to 20.27 centimeter per second. So now, this ventilation network is completely solved. We know the air quantity flowing into each airway, and we know the resistance of each airway. We can calculate the pressure drop of the entire mine, and also we can calculate the pressure drop in each individual airway. For example, if I ask what's the pressure drop in airway 8, then that equals to R8 by Q8 squared. R8 is given and Q8 uh, is calculated here so we can calculate the pressure drop in this single airway. Here is one example for you to practice on. In the following circuit, the mine quantity is 660 cubic meter per second. Calculate the total e equivalent resistance and calculate the quantity and pressure drop in each airway and fill in the table. So, 60 cubic meter per second of air come out from the mine and the airway resistances are given. We can use the same method to
to do the calculation. Here, as you notice, airway C, D, and E, they have the same resistance and they are in parallel. If they are in parallel, we can use the equation to calculate the equivalent resistance. So the equivalent resistance for airways in parallel are R EQ equals to square 1 divided by 1 divided by square root of R1 plus 1 divided by square root of R2 plus, well you may have more airways 1 divided by square root of Rn. If R1 equals to R2 equals to, so if they are all the same, Rn then equals to R, then the equation becomes R EQ equals to where 1 divided by 1 divided by square root of R plus 1 divided by square root of R plus plus 1 divided by square root of R. So we can simplify this expression and it becomes R divided by N squared. So R is, R is the resistance of the airway. Um, and they are in parallel and their resistance are all the same and uh, n is the number of airways in parallel so if there are several airways in parallel and the resistance of each individual airway are the same we can use this simplified equation uh, of course you can use uh, this original equation to do it that's no problem for that okay i ask you to pause the video and uh, take a couple of minutes to solve this problem all right pause the video now okay i believe you have worked out this problem and uh, here i will show the result to you uh, so you can compare your result to the correct answer. Okay, hopefully you got this uh, problem right. Finally, we have talked about how to solve a simple ventilation network. But what is a complex ventilation network? Look at this example. You have a fan here and the airways are connected like this. There is no way you can reduce this airway to one single equivalent airway. Not able to reduce the network to a single equivalent Airway. That is because we don't know this one and this one are they in series or are they in parallel and uh, and the same with these two. Are they in series? Are they in parallel? There's no way we can use the series and parallel equivalent to reduce this network to, to a single equivalent airway. So to solve this we use the Hardy cross method. We will not cover this method in this lecture.